Finally, boys, we have an update to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. And you're probably not recognizing this map because it is a brand new mountain volcano map. As you can see, there's lava at the top. <laughs> there's actually like three spires. And then this is sort of the top defensive position. I would call it over this way. And I thought it'd be fun to do a horror monsters video in this brand new update for Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. There's also new units in the game. Uh, they've made a lot of bug fixes and things like that. They also added laser fire. So our Star Wars units will actually have laser fire for once which is very exciting instead of bullets but in the meantime we are going to be doing frankensteins aliens predators we have ghost face killers in here we have pennywise in here and even more zombies and other horror monsters surrounding every space marine chapter in the game currently We've got the Imperial Fists over here. We have Cadian Imperial Guardsmen. Uh, we've got some Walker Assault Tanks over here. Over this way, we've got Soul Drinkers. We've got Ultramarines. We have some Chain Swordsmen down in this valley over here, which that valley I am very excited about because we could do some serious death tunnel defenses over there. Up here, we have Space Wolves. Uh, we've also got Blood Angels over this way. Uh, there's Legion of the Damned on the battlefield as well. It is going to be a huge battle against all of the horror monsters in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 on the brand new volcano map. There are currently 4,588 defenders and 4.64 million horror monsters, so just about 5 million on the battlefield. So guys, if you enjoy, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more battles like this in the future. Over here we've got some Dracula, and let's get right on into this thing. What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then gamers, let's go ahead and press start right here and we're going to have the Frankenstein monsters over here full charging against the Imperial Guardsmen as well as our sword and shield lads over here. Get ready boys, ready yourselves, here comes Frankenstein's monster. Mary Shelley would be proud. And uh, look at this, they are full on colliding with the enemies here. There are only 300 of these big boys on the battlefield because they are so unbelievably powerful. Uh, behind them we do have 1000 Imperial Guardsmen, uh, and behind them we have 10 of our armored sentinels. So. Uh, a pretty good solid defense over here we got cover fire for these guys in the front and uh, these guys here don't have to deal with the Frankenstein's monsters up close and personal until these fellas end up dying over here then over this away we've got our soul drinkers and our ultramarines there should be enemies coming up the valley eventually they're spawning all the way down here, so it is going to take a little while for them to get up here, but we do have these zombies full charging. These are the World War Z fast zombies, so yeah, they're they're getting up there lickety split. And these chain swordsmen up here uh, will start working against them, but since they're not up here yet, let's look at the other places. Uh, Legion of the Damned are covering this entranceway into the peak of the volcano. Uh, they are also not facing any enemies just yet, but more should be heading up here. It's just, yeah, very winding. A very winding battlefield, which makes it very difficult uh, for the enemies to get up here. Over here, we've got the Space Wolves. Still no one over there, but that's because the Blood Angels over here are the first corridor of defense here to defend. I had to explore this map like a ton of times to get the placement of the Space Marines right because obviously there are so many corridors so we had to make sure each corridor was blockaded by some force 
of defense. Right here, the Blood Angels going up against more Frankensteins, uh, but there will be a flank going on over this way eventually because there are more monsters down here. You can see a whole bunch of monsters over that way. I believe there are some skeletons down there, also Pennywises and things like that that will eventually reach the summit over here. Now, over this way, we do, of course, have those Dracula probably getting involved in the battlefield as well. Or maybe not. It's still mainly Frankensteins. The Dracula, I guess, start back here, uh, and that's when they will start to get involved over here. But so far, zero Space Marine deaths on the battlefield, which is not surprising. They have a very strong defensive perimeter going on right now. But slowly but surely, I think we will start to see deaths on the battlefield as more and more of these monsters just flood on in here, I do not think this will be a flawless victory for our Space Marine brethren. And in the very back, we are going to have our Salamanders defending. I'm always putting the Salamanders on the front line, and I didn't want to do that this time around. I wanted our Salamanders to be in the way back, last defensive line here, and there's 2,000 of them. They have the uh, strongest unit uh, in terms of numbers. However, as we all know, they are the weakest Space Marine unit in the mod currently. And it makes me so sad because they are my favorite Space Marine Legion. So, it is what it is over here. Uh, we've got our Chain Swordsman finally getting involved with some of these zombies over here. They're getting full charge. They are taking a decent amount of damage. So, some of these guys definitely will die. But, they're super powerful. They can take out multiple zombies with every single strike of their Chain Sword. So, I imagine they will get a plethora of kills before the day is done. Uh, we've also got, it looks like some predators over here coming forward, not like the, not, not like the, uh, Jared from Subway kind, more, more like the, uh, <laughs> the, the ones from the Alien franchise, Alien vs. Predator kind of thing going on. Uh, so those guys are charging on up here. Uh, I, I don't know why I felt like I had to clarify that, but I, I simply did. They are charging full charge up this way to attack the Chain Swordsman as well. Oh, yeah, and they do have um, some knockback ability with every strike they make. So, Chain Swordsmen are starting to actually tumble down the mountain a little bit here as they get swung on by those guys. So, that could cause some problems. Actually, they're going to single out Chain Swordsmen one by one, killing them slowly but surely as they surround them. So, that is a bit of a devastating thing right there. I'm not... Uh, <laughs> Not too happy about that. Oh, wait. Soul Drinkers over here are firing. Oh, look at this. Dracula are making their way up here to the Soul Drinkers and the Ultramarines behind them from this avenue. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of different ways that this area can get attacked, and it can get dicey for sure. Um, over here, these guys are still defending. And look at that. We have our first death of the battlefield for the Space Marines, and I'm sure it's the Space Marine uh, chain swordsman that got secluded over there. I'm almost positive that's the guy who died um, But hopefully not too many more of them die too quickly or it will open another avenue uh, For them to take losses Frankenstein's monsters over here Still charging the blood angels and it looks like they are also getting uh, charged by the xenomorph aliens over here now So those guys are coming in and starting to swarm around some blood angels over here And now we have two space marine deaths so that will only continue to go up. The Space Marines have 400,000 kills at this point, which is pretty good. 4.2 million horror monsters remaining, but there's a lot of battle to go through. And not all of the monsters have made it up to the battlefield just yet, so I'm sure things will change. Let's go check on the Legion of the Damned, and they are getting involved on the battlefield. And they're fighting some ghost face killers over here. Man, I gotta watch uh, Scream again this Halloween. That is my favorite horror movie. I love Scream. It's so meta. It's a, it's a great movie. Um, but zombies also getting involved over here with them as they charge the Legion of the Damned. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, why don't we go ahead and do our first time lapse of the battle, because this is going to be a long one with all these different avenues that the enemies are able to go up. So we might as well go ahead and time lapse a little bit off the bat here. Uh, and let's go ahead and watch some of the... Uh, Chain Swordsman over here, because as you can see, it's a very interesting dynamic. A lot of the enemies are just kind of like swirling around over there and attacking them and singling them out. And I think this is where we'll see most of the Space Marine deaths for the very start of this battle.
Okay, it's taken 15 minutes, but 186 Space Marines have now died. It looks like these guys here are suffering some extreme losses, and the full might of the army is really gathering down here. I mean, look at this. There's so many of them, and they're just shooting these guys down the mountain and beating them up and bullying them. So, this is a rough situation right here. Uh, further back, this is not a problem. The Draculas aren't doing much over here. And then over here, uh, we definitely do have maybe one or two losses of these boys, but nothing too crazy. They're pretty powerful, um, but the body wall is allowing them to get closer. Or the horror monsters that is and it looks like the skeletons have joined the battle um, They are allowing them to get closer to the space marines there because the Cadian guardsmen can't quite shoot through the body wa wall like that um, And of course more soldiers continue to move upwards to join them over that way Then as for the blood angels, they're not really facing much uh, in terms of Frankenstein's over here anymore It's mainly aliens behind them that are coming on in uh, looks like a couple of Blood Angels have died up front here, which sucks for them, but it's kind of bound to happen eventually. How about the Legion of the Damned? Where are those boys at? Oh, over here, right. <laughs> uh, and it looks like they are doing just fine so far. I don't think any of them have died, but they're really facing a trickle-in for sure. They're not, they're not facing too much hardship right now. 215 total Space Marines have died. Um, and 1 million enemies have died, so 3.57 million uh, enemies now still remain on the battlefield, which is pretty crazy. Let's go ahead over to the Blood Angels. Let's watch them defend this section of the volcano. Wait, what is that up there? Oh, that's the, that's the lava, right? Or magma, because it's still in the volcano, right? I think. I don't know, maybe. Let's watch the Blood Angels fight and defend themselves over here. I believe the Xenomorphs do have a deflect ability, and that's why a few of them are getting bloodied back here. But they are Blood Angels, so they should be able to handle it at least somewhat. Let's watch. Another 20 minutes later, and losses have begun to mount for the Space Marines quite a bit. They've lost double what they had previously, so they are now at 400 losses. That's not fantastic. The Blood Angels are doing a pretty good job here against the alien Xenomorphs, but there's only more coming, so I think eventually they will die. And then it's the Space Wolves' turn to deal with them, which will be a whole other bag of worms over this way. We got these guys still holding out really, really nicely. Look at this body pile grow. It's getting pretty big. And then over here, how are we doing? I think these guys are probably pretty bad off. Yes, sir. These guys are not doing well. They've all been kind of clumped together back here because the uh, predators keep on sort of pushing them around. So it's resulted in a natural clumping of all the soldiers in the back here, which is not ideal, um, especially because you can see they're all taking a lot of damage and they're all getting weakened and stuff like that, um, and then picked off one by one as they get like withdrawn from the crowd. So I think if they were spread out more, it would delay more, like it was at the very beginning. But now it's kind of like they're all just sitting there primed, like a like a delicious prime rib or like a like a pie on a windowsill to Yogi Bear, you know? I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and time-lapse these guys, because I think they'll be the first to fully die. And 3.2 million horror monsters remain.
Well, the final stand of these fellas is underway, with them getting knocked around a crazy amount. 662 total Space Marines have now died, and 3 million horror monsters still exist on the battlefield. These guys here are actually flanking around the back, which is crazy. They figured out some path this way, I don't know how, to get around the flanks of them. This guy got knocked into the side wall, so I'm going to dip him down or else he'd just be glitched there forever, distracting the uh, horror monsters, so I wanted to make sure that didn't happen. These guys here, though, I believe are in reach, and they're doing a nice little last stand over this way, hopefully getting a few more kills. I mean, those chain swordsmen did get a ton of kills on the battlefield, so props to them, but they are going to be the first to go down. But then all of those guys have to go through the Soul Drinkers and the Ultramarines, which will be a whole other problem. Down this way, these guys are doing just fine. They're continuing to kill some Draculas uh, and Skeletons. I'm not sure if there's any Frankensteins even still remaining on the battlefield. So that's at least one enemy down. Oh, but there are some Xenomorphs over here joining them. And the Xenomorphs, oh, there was a Frankenstein right there. The Xenomorphs are kind of nerfed over here because while the Blood Angels up this way, let's go and take a peek if they're still alive. Yes, they are still alive, very nice. Not many though. While these guys are firing into the Xenomorphs and having their uh, bolts rebound back into them, that's not gonna happen with the sword wielders over there because they don't use projectiles. So that's going to be a good thing. These blood angels though, obviously are going to die out very quickly too. So two of the space marine chapters are going to be dead relatively soon. They, these guys are basically gonna be goners and then it's going to be up to the more inner circle area to defend. We've still got 3,855 Space Marines remaining, which is very solid, against 3 million enemies. Uh, Legion of the Damned over here. Oh, the Pennywises are, are on the battlefield now. Oh, that's spooky. Um, <laughs> they seem to be doing pretty well, though. Uh, maybe a couple of them have died. I'm not entirely sure. Their ranks do look like a little bit thinned, but for the most part, they seem to still be doing fine, although they really are just dealing with a trickle-in, so they've got a bit of an easy task over that way. I am seeing the Soul Drinkers over here start to fire more and more, and that's because the Zombies and the Predators have finished off the Chain Swordsmen and are now full charging the Soul Drinkers over here as well as the Ultramarines behind them who are firing away. That's a new visual effect. What the heck? That's interesting. Wait. Look at that. These guys have a new animation. Do they still do explosive damage? Huh. That is part of the new update. Oh, that's really cool. Interesting. It's like It's like musket fire but rapid fire musket fire. Kind of with the with the plumes of smoke. But the Soul Drinkers don't have that. It's... That's interesting. That's kind of cool. Okay. I don't know if that means that they're nerfed or better or the same as they were before, to be honest. So it'll be interesting to see how well the Ultramarines do over there. Uh, the Blood Angels are dead. RIP to the boys. The Xenomorphs managed to kill all of them. Uh, now it's a question of if they're going to reroute this way to go attack the Space Wolves that are here, or if they go around to attack the Sword and Shield boys. It's with the weird rays of light in the background there. That's interesting. Um, it does usually take them a second to reroute and figure it out, but it looks like they have, and they are going to go after the Space Wolves now who are pretty powerful. They're, they're a good chapter in this game. Uh, so I imagine they'll do quite well. Why don't we time lapse here for a little bit and watch. 2.97 million horror monsters remaining, 3,837 Space Marines. Well, the Space Wolves seem to be holding off just fine, and the Xenomorphs are actually kind of coming in waves, strangely. Like, yeah, sometimes they don't come at all, and I think maybe a few redirect down this way on occasion? I'm not totally sure. But down here, 
Things have definitely settled down a good bit, though this body pile still continues to build. You can see there's a couple dead uh, throughout here. Some of those space marines going down, but nothing too horrible. They're actually doing pretty good for themselves. Up here, though, looks like the soul drinkers are doing great right now, and the ultramarines are helping them out pretty considerably. They are definitely taking damage, and uh, they're getting pushed around by those predator uh, soldiers there, too, which is kind of resulting in them clumping weirdly over here and stuff like that but in this instance it seems to be fine because they have range units so actually clumping them together will make each of their shots doubled up with other people's shots and it makes them just a little bit more powerful so I think that's going to be helpful let's watch these guys over here with the ultramarines uh, behind them fighting against to the oncoming predators and zombies over this way 2.67 million horror monsters remaining 3,797 space marines Oh my goodness, so a lot of these guys got pushed further up the mountain. A lot of them died too. They're still technically holding here, but things are getting rough. Ultramarines back here are getting completely swarmed by zombies and predators right now. That could uh, mark the end of these guys. This happening so fast, not a good thing. Two million horror monsters remain, so under half of their remaining force remains but they are making some very big gains and other areas are weakening more and more which is obviously not a good thing <laughs> and if these guys die these guys are for sure gonna die because the Cadian guardsmen are not nearly as powerful defensively as space marines obviously so that's a big problem up here the space wolves are taking some losses uh, from the deflection from the xenomorphs and if they get flanked, then the salamanders start getting hit, and the salamanders are not the best, so that could be bad. How's it going over here? Ooh, Legion of the Damned has definitely taken some losses. They've also definitely been pushed back a little bit here. That's not fantastic. Okay, so bits of the Space Marine defense are starting to crumble, which is definitely not a good thing. I'd like to watch this area because we haven't really time-lapsed this area yet, but let's check it out. Hopefully they can hold for a bit longer because two million zombies and Draculas and demons and whatnot, that's a lot to deal with. They need to hold out pretty nicely. Also, did the tanks get a new firing animation? Kind of looks like it, but I can't tell. Hmm. All right, let's watch. The big boys here are still holding out, which is a beautiful thing. These guys on the far flank, though, did die. We got Pennywise's coming in, Xenomorph's coming in, the whole shebang. The far right side, though, holding out just fine. This guy, I think, is glitched up here. Let's bring him down. There you go, Bubba. Have fun. Uh, <laughs> Katie and Guardsman still doing all right. Oh, the Soul Drinkers and the Ultramarines are all dead, but the Salamanders here spraying down the enemy and they're trickling in so much because of all of the narrow passageways back here they have to go through that they're really not making it to the salamanders all that easily which is a beautiful thing looks like we have a couple soul drinkers still alive up here i'll leave them there because why not uh how are the space wolves doing they are probably the weakest position now i would say now that those guys down there have died oh but what about the legion of the damned forgot about these boys they're still holding they have definitely depleted a lot but they are still holding so huge props to them for continuing 
to tear it up on this battlefield in the name of the Emperor. Yes, sir. No heresy here. And uh, these guys, obviously, still doing quite well, too. If the Salamanders fall, those guys are in trouble. But the Salamanders seem to be doing quite well for themselves right now, which is a good thing. Let's go time-lapse the Space Wolves up here, because I think they are still the weakest position, probably. All right, fellas, another half an hour has passed here, and it looks like the Space Wolves are holding on really, really nicely here, as are the Salamanders down below, who are just continuously continuing to kill it, uh, and then these guys over here are taking some L's, but still, they're holding out. There's only 900,000 horror monsters remaining, which is pretty great and 2,854 Space Marines remaining. So I'm going to go ahead and let this play out because I think it could last another hour or two uh, and just save a little bit of my disc space for later in the battle and just let these guys continue to wipe away the horror monsters. All right, boys, we are back. And it looks like 222,000 horror monsters still remain they're just now starting to reach the salamanders themselves and look at that body pile they built that is absolutely crazy over this way there's barely anyone attacking they never did manage to breach through these guys and it's a very small trickle in now so i kind of doubt they will up here with the space wolves they're still holding perfectly fine i'm surprised i kind of thought they would die out and for the Legion of the Damned, uh-oh. Oh, they got defeated. Sad. Okay, Legion of the Damned is dead, and that's why more are coming this way towards the Salamanders. So let's time-lapse the Salamanders defending and watching this body pile grow. But I think it's safe to say the Space Marines probably got this W. Well, the horror monsters are trickling in now completely. Um, I, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, nuke the battlefield now because this thing's over. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the Space Marines ended up with a triumphant victory here. I think the only horror monsters are over here now, so hit them with the juice. Yes, sir. The volcano defense has been successful now. And the Space Marines and some Cadian Guardsmen get to live another day 2700 of them still remain thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below i'll see you on the next one peace i hope you guys enjoyed that video be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever i live stream or upload thanks so much